Okay, what I would like you to do first is to write your name on the back of your paper. You're going to hold your paper portrait style. Okay, so don't hold it like this. And you're going to turn it over. And what I want you to focus on in the middle when you're doing your dream catcher, maybe a little bit above the center. Okay, maybe like right around here so you have room for the feathers. I would like you to draw out whatever design is going to go right in the center of your dream catcher. So I'm going to do petals first. Okay, so I'm going to put petals around here. Just a simple petal design. Maybe I'll put little petals coming out here. You don't have to do flower petals though. All right, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a circle as perfectly as I can around this petal design, and then I'm going to attach these. So maybe I'll attach the big petals with these little threads right here. And then that becomes part of your pattern design too. Then maybe I'll do what looks like beads around this circle. So these ideas are just coming to me, and I want you to come up with your own ideas and your own ways of making these rows of circles have really wonderful designs in them. Okay, now I have to figure out what's going to happen in my next circle, because now I'm starting to get a little bit bigger. So now I'm going to make these curvy arrows and these arrows will be encircled with my next circle. Oops, not the best circle I ever drew. So I'm just going to kind of attach this a little bit. So I may need to erase. It might be good to draw a little lighter too so you don't make a mistake. Um, that's going to be hard to erase. Okay, but this works. Let me do this. Now I have to figure out what ideas are going to go in this area right here. Okay, and this is where it becomes fun because you just start taking ideas and you just start to roll with it. Like I'm going to do these um, diamonds. And then inside the diamonds, I'll put these ovals or these teardrops. And I'm going to start to do that all the way around too. So this shouldn't take two seconds to do each row. I want you to really take your time, think of some cool ideas that you're going to be putting in here. And then, you know, these are eventually going to get colored too. So look at what I'm adding right here. So already half of that circle is done with a beautiful pattern. So right here, again, curvy diamonds. Again, curvy diamonds. Three of those. Oops. I don't like the way that looks. <laughs> Let me fix that. And th these should be balanced and symmetrical. All right, that looks better now. So now I'm doing this. My teardrops. And then I'm going to keep going and I'm going to figure out what my other row is going to be. Okay, so if you get this much done by the first period, we'll be in good shape. Okay, enjoy.